Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to reduce your network latency by prioritizing your network and also messing with interrupt delays. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this on Saturdays 1pm East. But yeah. Now one thing I want to mention before you start this video is that this video is mainly for you to reduce your network latency and not really get rid of your ping spikes, packet loss, or whatever server issues you have. I have a whole separate video on that. And something you should be willing to try is a VPN like software such as Carib Game Booster. What basically happens sometimes when you get back a loss is your ISP will use some trash hot points that are just unstable and far from your server. So what using a software like Garib will do is it will revert them to different different hot points that are more stable and hopefully closer to your server. And it really depends on where you're located and where the server is, but sometimes you'll get lower ping with it, sometimes you won't do anything, and sometimes it'll just increase your network stability. But something worth trying, I'll have the link to it in the description below, don't download a random gaming VPN. But yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is set a priority over our main internet so then Windows doesn't want to use any other network interface cards or place them at a higher priority than the one we want to use. So what we're going to do first is we're going to right click our Windows button right here. If you have open shell, you might have to hold shift and right click, but then you want to go to Windows PowerShell admin and then you want to type this in get dash net IP interface. And then in here you'll see your all your different network interface cards, your Ethernet, Wi-Fi if you have any. As you can see my Wi-Fi is disabled. But in here you should see interface metric. This is basically the priority that your Ethernet or whatever is set to. As you can see my IPv6 also has the same priority as my IPv4. So that's something that we don't want. So to fix this what we're going to do is right click our internet down here. Click open network and internet settings. Click change adapter options, right click our internet, click properties, we're going to disable IPv6 because this is just useless and garbage, we're going to click our IPv4, click properties, advanced, and then in here we're going to uncheck automatic metric and then set this to 1, after that we're just going to click ok, ok, and close. Another thing we're going to do is click Windows key and R. We're going to type inetcpl.cpl .cpl. Then we're going to go over to I forgot where it is Connections And then LAN settings And then we're going to uncheck automatically detect settings right here And then click OK And OK Now when you go back and you type in the Windows PowerShell admin Get net IP interface You're going to see our IPv6 is disabled because we don't want to use that at all and our interface metric is set to 1, meaning it's going to be set at the highest priority for Windows to use over other any network interface cards. So the next thing I'm going to cover is DSC priority. I already covered this in the past, but I'm going to mention something I didn't mention before. If you don't have group policy editor in there because you're on Windows 10 Home or some other random Windows version, then just search up a video on how to get group policy editor. I'm sure there's plenty of videos on that, but what we're going to do is click Windows Kit and R. We're going to type gpedit.msc I'm just going to expand this real quick And then in here you're going to want to expand Windows settings And then policy based QoS, you're going to click on it And you see I already have one for Valorant, I'm going to show you how to do it for Fortnite But you could really do this on any game You're going to want to right click this Click advanced QoS settings DSCP marking override You're going to want to make sure that this is checked And this is on ignored, then click OK In here you're going to click you're going to right click this, click create new policy, you can name it whatever, I'm just going to name it Fortnite. And if you join my server, which will be linked in the description below, in the resources channel we should have a link over here explaining all the DSCP values. Usually in my past video, I recommended 46, which is expedited forwarding, but I've seen recently that some people have been using precedent 6 and precedent 7 because it's supposed to have a higher priority than expedited forwarding, so it's something willing to test. If you think 46 worked really well for you, then just try 48 or 56 to see if you can make any better difference for you. But in this video, I'm just going to use 46. I'm going to click next. We're going to click only applications with this executable name, and we're going to go find the executable. So for Fortnite, it will be in my folder, C drive. Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, 164. 
and then in here you're going to want to click view make sure file names extensions is checked so you get the .exe at the end of this and you're going to want to click right you're going to want to right click it click rename Control a to select it all and then Control c to copy it and then you're going to want to paste that in here and then click next you're going to want to skip this page and then in here you're going to click tcp and udp since most games use both then click finish and then your priority should be right here so the next thing we're going to do is reduce our interrupt delays this is mainly for our intel adapters but if you're on real tech you can still do it there's no harm what you want to do is join my discord server which will be linked in the description below you want to head over to the resources tab and use the find network adapter registry path file to download it then you're going to open it and run it and then in here you should get a registry path what you want to do is just copy and paste it into registry so windows key r reg edit and then in here you're going to just paste it in here and once you do that you should get to a path that looks like this what you're going to want to do is create TX abs and delay. So it should, if you don't have it, you're just going to right click over here, click new, string value, you're going to type it just exactly as it is. Like that. And you're going to click enter, double click it, click value data, and then put zero on it and click OK. And you're also going to do that with TX and delay also, if you don't have it, like I said. Just delete it, or well, if, if not delete it, but create it, click new, string value, TX, and delay, double click it, type 0, and click OK. If you do have it, just change the values. It should also be an RX one right here, yeah, RX abs and delay, and RX and delay. If you don't have it, just type it out just like this, and put 0 in them. If you do have it, then just double click it and put 0 in them. And that will just reduce your network adapter interrupt delays. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this on Saturdays 1pm East. If you have any content suggestions on what I should make, just join my Discord server and let me know in the chat what you want to see. But yeah, see you in the next one.